Nickelodeon is in some more trouble after more Nick child stars have come forward to talk about their experiences at the network. The conversation has been sparked by the Quiet On Set docuseries that actually will be coming out with an additional episode airing April 7th. This fifth episode of the docuseries promises to go deeper into the toxic and dangerous culture behind the late 90s and early 2000s kids television network, and Drake Bell is set to be featured once again in this new episode. All that cast member Shane Lyons will also be featured in this, interviewed by a journalist Soldad O'Brien, who will be talking about the industry as a whole from then compared to now and where the industry is headed. Those previously interviewed for the series will also be talking about their feelings towards everything discussed. And since so many people have been open in this series, it's caused other stars to come out and talk about their own experiences. One actress, Ali D'Amico, who played Rosalina on the Nickelodeon show The Naked Brothers Band, has also come out to speak out. And it's not the first time that she's spoken out about her experience on Nickelodeon, but this whole docuseries has sparked her talking about it once again and has really amplified her story. On the show The Naked Brothers Band, the show followed Nat and Alex Wolf in a documentary reality show style series capturing the lives of these young band members. It was all scripted, but that was the style of the show and so a lot of people who watched it did think that the things that happened in the show were real and that they were not acting and getting told what to say, which in turn caused a lot of problems for Allie because a lot of people criticized her character for things that she was doing in the show because they thought it was real. In her post talking about Quiet on Set and watching it, she said that it was having her think about her time at Nickelodeon, which honestly sounds like a nightmare. She said that at one point in an episode, on the show, she was supposed to kiss this guy and he was an adult. Like he was a 30 year old guy. It was for a scene. She said it was just such an icky situation. And not only that, but she ended up getting a ton of hate for this because in real life, people actually thought that her and Nat were dating and it wasn't just for the show. And she had actually cheated on him with this much older guy. Oh my God, my hair. Do you see? I'm stressed. Why? Because I'm watching the, I don't know who that is, but it's the quiet on set documentary. Um, I had to like my mind's been wandering to this one multiple multiple times but uh and actually multiple episodes but um there was an episode where rosalina um cheated on that and kind of kissed a french guy or she didn't cheat but like they were it, it was a scripted show and a lot of people thought it was a lot of kids thought that it was a documentary in real life and people particularly girls wanted to fight me in real life. Like I didn't have fans because they thought it was real life and that I kissed this greasy ass, dusty ass dwarf. <laughs> I'm sorry to this man, but I did not want to kiss him. Also guys, I'm 4'11". He's a 30 year old man. I'm sorry, I couldn't even watch it. It gave me like the ick. I couldn't. And it honestly gives me PTSD. I'm watching this um, Quiet On Set documentary and it's talking about how integral and vital it is to create, especially when it's like a kid's cast, to create an environment where kids feel comfortable to say no or I don't feel comfortable with this. And then I'm like, yeah, maybe they do express that though. It's also more important to create an environment that listens to the kids and actually does not make them do things when they don't want to do them because they made me kiss this 30 plus year old man when i was like what 14 15 um i told them many times i didn't want to do it my mom was very against it and they just pretty much made me feel like i was gonna lose my job and like be fired um if i didn't do it um and it was weird Think about Naked Brothers Band and like, it was great, but also there was aspects that it wasn't. So not only did she have to do something that she didn't want to do, but she also got hate for it. Worst of all, she talked about her experience at Nick back in November. And this story truly just had my jaw on the floor. Like the fact that this happened to her as a child actress, it's just unacceptable. But she says that they were about to shoot an episode for the Naked Brothers Band where she was going to kiss Nat. And this was going to be a first kiss episode and she as well had just not had her first kiss yet. And she didn't want to have her first kiss filmed. She was not comfortable with this happening on camera and be it being in this environment with a bunch of people watching her. 
And so she told her mom how she was feeling. Her mom was extremely supportive of her. And they both told producers that she was not going to be doing this scene where she had to kiss Nat on camera. And the producers were not having it. They were trying to tell her that her career was over. She wasn't going to find work again. And then she claimed that one of the female producers was so upset about this whole thing and was like, you haven't had your first kiss yet and kissed her and then told her to go film. There was one episode called First Kiss, and I remember when it came out, my heart dropped um, because I knew that it would be talking about a first kiss with Nat and I, and I remember I freaked out because I hadn't had my first kiss in real life yet. Oh my god, it makes me emotional even thinking about it. That's how you know it's dramatic. Um, I haven't had my first kiss in real life yet, and I really didn't want it to be on TV. I just wanted as as a girl, and I just wanted that moment to be like for me. Now, as a, as a mature adult, um, I definitely know that I should have acted differently in response. However, I was a kid. I must have been like, what, 12, 13? And my first immediate reaction was, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, and I refused. My mother is my biggest supporter. She's my biggest ally. Uh, we went up to everyone on production and the director and said, she's not doing it. They threatened me I would get fired, that I would never work again in this industry, that my career was over. And I also was embarrassed. I didn't know how to kiss. And now everybody's going to see me figuring it out on the first time on camera. I just, I didn't want to do it. Long story short, my mom and I went up to the necessary people involved and said, listen, she's not going to do it. You're going to have to rewrite it, but she's not doing it. And there was a female producer who was very upset and looked at me and said, you haven't had your first kiss yet? And grabbed me and kissed me. And then she said, there, your first kiss is over. You've had your first kiss and now go film. And while Naked Brothers Band and that entire experience was once in a lifetime and I forever am so grateful and if I could do it again, I would. I'd probably do it a little differently. Um, but this was one of those big reasons why people are like, why don't you act anymore? Why did you give it up? I truly could not believe this hearing that this happened. Like, what do you mean? Like, this is truly just insane. And when I talked about this on TikTok, someone mentioned that this was something that Abby Lee Miller had done to Maddie Ziegler on Dance Moms because Maddie hadn't had her first kiss yet and was nervous about having to kiss a boy for a dance number. And so Abby just went and kissed her. It's just crazy to look back on this. And also the fact that it was Ed Edited in the show to be some laughable funny moment like hee hee ha ha oh my god Abby's so silly when in reality this is not something that should be happening at all and it's so sad hearing Allie talk about how she remembers all of this happening to her and her time in Nickelodeon experiencing her first kiss and what they had her doing on the show since all these conversations have been going around surrounding Nickelodeon several other child stars from the network have been asked about their time Keenan Thompson who starred in Keenan and Kel which was a show created by Dan Schneider was recently asked if he's seen the series and his thoughts he was quoted by the Hollywood reporter saying it's a tough subject because it's tough for me because I can't can't really speak on things that I've never witnessed, Thompson said on Wednesday's episode of the daytime talk show, Tamron Hall. You know what I'm saying? Because all of these things happened after I left, basically, and Dan wasn't really on Keenan and Kel like that. I mean, he got a created by credit, but it was a different showrunner. So our worlds weren't really overlapping outside of all that necessarily. And then all that negativity kind of started happening outside of our tenure there. The Saturday Night Live star continued. I wasn't really aware of a lot of it, but my heart goes out to anybody that's been victimized or their families. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it's a good thing that the doc is out and it's putting things on display that need to be you know the stories that need to be told for this accountability sake but it's definitely tough to watch because i have fond memories of that place and i have fond memories of my co-stars and stuff like that so to hear that they've gone through terrible things like that it's just really tough amanda Bynes was also asked about the series and it's been reported that she was asked to be featured in the quiet on set docuseries but came out to say that she did not think that she had anything further to add to their cause and declined doing an interview for it her parents also declined as they live very private lives. I mean, the whole series has just started so many conversations, and I do think that a lot of them are very important surrounding children in the industry, pointing out flaws and how they really need to be protected. And there's certainly a lot of things that need to be done, changes that need to be made on how things are. And I talked about this in the video that I made recently about Honey Boo Boo, about how her mom didn't even know what a Coogan account was until her daughter was filming content in Los Angeles, where it's legally required for a child 
child stars to have this bank account made for them where their parents are legally required to put money away for them. But I was shocked to learn that only 15% of that money that child stars earn in these states that require this account to actually go to the child and that the parent can legally pocket the rest of it. And I really think that this is something that should be changing. I think that this could make a huge difference in especially parents trying to take advantage of their children's fame and money or trying to get their kids famous and overlooking maybe their child's needs or how they're being treated on a set all because they want that money. And I do think that changing the legal percentage that a parent has to give their child if they are a child star would change this. Obviously, it doesn't solve all the problems in the industry, but it would certainly change some of them, I'm sure. And also the fact that not every state even requires parents of child stars to make sure that their child is getting paid properly. Like a parent in some states could just take the whole amount which is exactly what happened to Honey Boo Boo. It's just ridiculous that they aren't totally protected from being taken advantage of, honestly. But hopefully a lot of this opens people's eyes to just how much needs to be done. But for now, that is what has been said and what will be coming out soon in regards to this series. Let me know your thoughts on everything. And if you guys have been watching the series, if you're going to be watching the new episode that is going to come out, let me know. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.